Hello, welcome to another episode of the Bourbon Brothers. My name is Gavin. I'm Jeff. And today we're going to be reviewing Jefferson's very old, very small batch bourbon. Yes, uh, Jefferson's is a little bit of a newer company. They were founded in 1997 uh, by Trey Zoller and uh, his father. Trey is the uh, master blender. Um, the reason he's that rather than master distiller is that they source their uh, their juice. They don't uh, distill it themselves. Right. Um, this is the Jefferson Reserve. They have um, you know a pretty good lineup. They've got this. They've got a, a regular bourbon. They've got a rye. They've got uh, then the presidential series. Yes. Um, they've got a new one which they age uh, at sea. Mm -hmm. Ocean. Um, ocean, and then they also have a chef's collaboration, which uh, they worked with a, a chef to create a, a, a whiskey that paired well with food. So um, they're doing a lot of innovative stuff, they're, yeah. you know, doing some new stuff, and uh, we're glad to be reviewing the uh, Jefferson Reserve today. Certainly. So this is batch number 115, and uh, it is 90.2 proof. Uh, let's, uh, Jeff, you want to talk about the color? Sure. All right, we'll hold it up to the light for you. Look at it here. Um, yeah, this one's probably a, a golden rod, sort of, you know, a little bit lighter, not a, not a deep color. Yeah, definitely on the lighter side, so we'll, we'll go with a little gold there. Yeah, and yeah, it's a byproduct of just being, you know, a 90.2 proof. Absolutely. Um, yeah, a little bit on the lower end there, so. Sure. All right, well, Jeff, I'm going to get into some nosing. Yeah, let's, uh, let's take a sniff here. It's a nice floral nose. Yeah, it's definitely a nice nose. You get some, you know, some butterscotch, a little bit of, uh, you know, some vanilla in there. I'd say definitely, and again, at ninety point two proof, you know, no sense of the uh, the burn or alcohol. Oh no, there. none at all. Not also at all. getting a little bit of butterscotch, which is nice. The raisins. Yep. That creamy vanilla. Yeah, it's got a nice, you know, creaminess almost just to the nose itself, which you know, based on a number of those. And it smells like it's going to be a really smooth bourbon. Yeah. So uh, let's go into some tasting. Cheers. Cheers. Smooth. That's oh, nice. It's very smooth. Very drinkable. Great drinkability. Uh, you get some brown sugar. You know, a little bit of rye spice there. Not not overpowering. Sort of subtle rye. Yeah. Uh, flavors are kind of subtle. Uh, tobacco certainly. Uh, like Jeff said, that rye spice is there. That oak is there. It is very old, like the bottle suggests. You're not exactly sure what the age is. Uh, they're right. being sneaky on that one, yes. but uh, no, very, very smooth. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely uh, got a drinkability factor. Absolutely, I think this would make for a great nightcap. You know, just that smooth, warming sensation. Very nice. Yeah, definitely. Uh, very short finish, yeah. pretty crisp. It's, it is crisp, um, you know, that's a little bit of oak there, but uh, pretty short uh, compared to some of the other stuff we've reviewed. Yeah, not too much going on in the finish. You know, Jeff and I really appreciate bourbon with a nice bold flavor. Uh, not too much of that going on here. Um, again, it is very smooth. Uh, flavors are subtle. Yeah, I would say subtle is a great, great word, sure. adjective for, for this bourbon. Uh, flavors are subtle, not jumping out bold you know, down your throat, but definitely it's, you know, like I said, smooth, enjoyable. Yeah, definitely uh, enjoyable here. Now, we do try to take price uh, into our rating, so let's talk about the price for this bottle. It is around that $50, 50 to $60, depending on where you shop or range. Uh, I was able to get it on sale a little bit cheaper, but, um, great. you yeah. know, I think whenever you can find stuff on sale, that certainly helps you, you know, break sure. into to some new stuff. Uh, but being this one's a little bit on the a little bit a uh, higher price point, um, I was probably expecting just a little bit more from it. Sure, understandable. Uh, Jeff, what do you think rating wise? What would you give this? Um, I'd probably say an eight point two is probably a, a fair place. Yeah, I think that's a very fair assessment. Go with the low eighties, so eighty two certainly. Yeah, you got you know great smoothness, uh, you know very easy to drink, but at the same time, you lose a little bit of the, the flavor profile. I think. You know, sort of yeah. counter, you know, absolutely counterbalances there. So yeah, so I mean, if you can find it on sale, certainly pick it up. If you've had it or plan on having it in the future, please let us know uh, what you think. Yeah, I mean, you know, Jefferson, they like so they're innovative. They're yeah. you know trying new things, uh, do some different approaches. So they're they're worth checking out, whether it's this bottle or uh, one of the other ones in their line. Thanks for watching another episode of the Bourbon Brothers. 
Please make sure you check us out on Twitter and our links to that Twitter and personal blogs are below. So make sure you subscribe and check them out. Thanks.